Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Silva, I mean Juliana. Today I'll be showing you guys how to uh, make this beautiful t-shirt dress. T-shirt dress. We'll be making it today with this An Ankara fabric. You can see the Ankara fabric. So if you want to know how it's done, let's go straight to it. So here I have my, we'll be using this as our pattern. I'll use this dress as a, a pattern. This sewing uh, tutorial is for beginners. It's for beginners. It's very easy and uh, simple. You don't have to measure, take your body measurement or whatever. Just uh, use your, look for any of your dresses or your t-shirt. You can use it as your guide, as your pattern. So let's go straight to it. Here I have a, this is a <clears throat> two meters fabric, two meters. Two meters fabric you don't need much to do this and also you need your pins to put the fabric together you need your scissors you might need a tape but it's not necessary it's uh this like i said before this sewing is for beginners so now all you have to do now is to fold your fabric into two fold it like so not exactly into two like because we are we are looking to get uh, exactly the the width of this dress so place it like so any of your measuring surfaces any measuring surface of your choice place your anchor like this when you place it look for the pattern of the anchor because most of the anchor goes with patterns look for the best pattern to place it so that your dress will not be upside down like the pattern will not be upside down it's very very important when you are working with any Ankara fabric always make sure you check the pattern follow the pattern of the fabric it's very very important otherwise you might end up ruining the pattern of the fabric so yes make sure the your fold is equal on the both side and all you have to do, turn your clothes, any of your clothes, make sure you turn it out um, to the back, the wrong side. Turn it to the wrong side. You see, as you can see, this is on the wrong side. So you have to, if you, you have a long sleeve like so, like this uh, t-shirt dress of mine, put it through the, the, the sleeve inside. Turn it inside. Now you have the full so that you can get the correct uh, measurement so that you can get the correct measurement of that same fabric you are looking to work with so now as you can see i already throw in everything now you can see the full length and the full width of the fabric so all you have to do now is to place it here on the fabric you can see how i place mine make sure every because you are working you have your measurement everything is equal so you don't need to measure it or take any me extra measurements so now what you do next is to follow the pattern of the this fabric your guide your measuring pattern like it's your pattern already so follow the the line of the of the dress and cut through you cut like so till the end if you want to extend like here you see where the my dress ends you cut like this till the end if you want to extend your length you can go ahead and add more inches but here i want to make it exactly the same length as this dress so you go along and cut use your scissors cut like this but when you are cutting make sure you leave a anyway it's just it's okay because we are that's why i say you have to turn the wrong side now you see you don't need to add any any um allowance sewing allowance you don't need to add because everything is already here so all you need now is to go ahead and cut from your sleeve you cut like so exactly it's very simple and easy you cut and cut go to the other side do the same you cut like so cut the uh the um uh, the armhole after cutting the the armholes and you cut the go to the neckline cut your neckline like this follow the same pattern 
after cutting the, the neckline, you see the you see the front side is always um, lower than the back side. At this point, check the the type of uh, neckline you want. Whether you want it V-neck or so, you go ahead and then but cut everything together. Then you separate the first and the 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 front and the back. Then separate it and go to the front and give it more cut the way you want it. But so that's it. I will go ahead and they cut it now. I'll come back and show you guys the next step. So right now I'll finish uh, cutting the. You see the neckline. The both necklines are good now. You see the front side and the back side. So I'll go now and get uh, and uh, cut out a uh, trim to sew down the neckline just to make it nice and even so to have a neat uh, sewing i have to use like uh, make use my fabric as like a uh, trim to trim down the neckline to sew it and make it look professional so all i have to do now is to place my uh, leftover fabric i'll place it like so just place it along the neckline already cut out neckline Place it on top of your dress, the neckline area, and uh, follow suit. You can place the, you place it like so underneath so that you have a clear view of what you are doing. So like so, I will place it like this. Place your dress on top of your, the uh, leftover fabric. Place it exact. Just uh, the essence of this is to get the same shape of the neck, to cut out a fabric that look exactly the same shape, so that when you place it, it will just match the neckline. The exact neckline. You use it to sew sew along the neckline to give it a nice finishing. So I'll go ahead now and uh, cut it. You follow the same line, the same neckline. That's the essence of placing it like this. Follow the same neckline and the cut through to the end. At the end, you have the next uh, exact neckline with your fabric. This is to improvise. Like people, some people use a bias tape to do this, but I prefer to do it with my fabric. So now you can see we've already created the same, exact the same shape, you see. So we go ahead now and uh, cut it. You see what I mean? You see what we are trying to create. the whole idea I've cut out the exact neckline the exact shape of the backside neckline so I'll go ahead now and place the front side to do the same as well I'll come back and show you guys the next step yes I've finished cutting the trim for the neckline so after cutting it I'll use my safety pins I'll use it to pin it down before sewing it to make it stable I'm pinning it down now I'll continue to pin it down to the end so after that I'll take it to my sewing machine and uh, sew it down sew it together I'll come back and show you guys the next step so before I forget if you are sewing this with lining if you are making this with lining, today we are not using any lining. We are just sewing only the fabric. If you are going to add lining, you have to cut, just place the same fabric. After cutting it out, you just place it on top of your lining and cut out the same shape. That's it. It's not, uh, there is no other way again. Just simple way. Place your fabric on top of the lining. They already cut out shape. Uh, the dress you are making, the pattern. Place it on top of your lining fabric and cut the same. 
So, but today we are not making with any lining. I just want to let you guys know. So, after cutting now, I will go ahead and use the pin to hold it together at the, all the edges. The right side and the left side. You put it together, put the pin to hold the fabric together. Then take it to your sewing machine at this stage. And uh, so, but, but before I do that, I will keep this aside and then cut out the sleeve. You see the sleeve here? You see the type of uh, sleeve? It's a cold shoulder sleeve. So we're going to place this same fabric. We place this, uh, the sleeves on top of our uh, Ankara fabric, like so. I will show you guys in a bit. You fold it like so. Fold it into two. Whatever leftover you have. I think it's, it won't be enough. You might need uh, extra fabric because this is uh, quite a big uh, sleeve. I want it so big, like like so. You see, this is a big, quite a big sleeve. Sorry, yeah. So I would like to get as exact measurement as this. So all you have to do now, just place your the sleeve, the exact uh, sleeve. Your pattern sleeve, place it like so. You guys know that I gathered, I put elastic here. So just follow straight because when you gather it, when you put elastic, it will reduce the, the width. So at this point, just follow suit. You see the same shape and cut your fabric. So I'll go ahead now and then cut the sleeve. Remember to leave your sewing allowance. Always remember to leave your sewing allowance. So, scissors is not like this, not sharp. So, cut like so. It doesn't matter if it's bigger than that because you're gonna gather the 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 downside and the the armhole directly the one you're going to sew directly to the fabric to your dress so it doesn't matter if it's big so cut it like so you cut it like so the next thing to do is to trim down the end make it equal So like so and here you follow the same shape you see the the slanting line you follow that same exact shape because you are making the same exact shape of this sleeve so all I have to do now is to put it like so and then make at this point you can remove it just to give it a sharp curve and that is it now we we'll go ahead and uh, use a uh, fold. You have to fold it like this. You fold it like this and put elastic. Put elastic here, or you can gather it. But I will leave it as so. I will go and sew down the dress. Afterwards, we we'll come back to this and uh, finish it. Yes, at this stage, I finished stitching the. You see the neckline. You see how I stitch it and uh, You see. Can you see the whole thing? I've gone around and stitched both the neckline, the front side and the back side. You guys can see it now. This is the back side and this is the front side. So and also I've, I've uh, stitched the both sides. You see the both sides, I've stitched all of them together. So now I'll go ahead and uh, turn it to the right side. I'll turn it out to the right side. Our dress is almost ready. But only the, once I insert the sleeve now, I'll go and uh, make the sleeve. Remember, we are making the exact sleeve for the, the, the yellow dress. 
the yellow t-shirt dress we are using to make this dress so we're gonna make the exact sleeve exactly the same type of sleeve so as it is right now you can go ahead and use iron to iron it down we use iron to iron the both side to make it nice and then yeah neat both the sides i'll iron it down after that this is the sleeve like i showed you guys already i placed the sleeve and cut it out now i'm going to go ahead and then fold you see the you see how i got that here this is a less fabric but i'm gonna do the same here i'm gonna do the same as it is right now when you look through the video you can see i've already pinned down the fabric i'm gonna use to run down like a casing i'll run down a casing inside the sleeves i'll stitch up from here to here from this end to this end is to serve as our casing so i'll go ahead and then do and sew together the sleeves sew down the sleeves and then yeah that's it that is it after that i'll come back and uh, show you guys how to insert the sleeve yes right now i have finished uh, sewing the sleeves like i told you guys before that i'll go down and sew it so now i've been setting this you see this elastic here i'll be inserting it here as well so what you do here is sir uh, you put your put your elastic on this uh, safety pin you know what is safety pin this pin put it under here is the casing remember i told you guys i'll go down so the casing now i'll from this opening i left some opening here from this opening i'll start inserting the from this opening you see i'll insert the pin i'll start push the pin inside this the pin will guide the uh, elastic guide you through the elast uh, through the casing till it will come out to the other end from the other end sorry yes it will come out from the other end you see like so see here is the, the elastic so now you use uh, one of your pins to hold it like so and go here again and the hold like so and that's it you see now we have exactly the same thing here we have it here you see you see the different so anyway if you guys if you don't uh, if you have any problem understanding how i make the sleeve i can equally make the video if you have any question uh, uh, if you need me to make the video let me know on how to make this sleeve from the beginning to the end so now we have this so all we have to do now is to go under sew it under i will go now and pin it down i've already finished sewing this you see the sleeve here this one is ready it's ready so here i will go under sew it down like so i'll put it like this you see what i'm doing to put the sleeve you put, this is the armhole you join them from the cut you join it like so and use your pin to hold them together hold them like so and then pin all the other edges pin it round till this end and pin the other side i will go down and do that i'll come back and show you guys after sewing it yes hello guys this is the final look i finished sewing the sleeves you see isn't it beautiful yeah this is the final look of our dress today hope you guys 
can give it a try. Just make sure you give it a try. Try and make one for yourself. It's very simple. As you can see, I didn't even insert any zip because I, I, I have my true measurement and the, the whole cloth, I added some inches for my zipper, but I didn't add any zip and it still fit properly. This is the back and this is the front. So thank you guys, this is the end of our video and thank you guys for watching, for following me through this video. Please do leave your comment. If you have any question about this video, feel free and uh, leave your comment. I will reply to you. Thank you guys and uh, do not forget to subscribe and click the like button. See you guys next time.